Ooh. Brax Prespus, episode 17 of year two. Uh, we are in and the oh, weird saying that and the expands role playing game actual play uh, as put out by Green Ronin Publishing. Uh, tonight we have returning our great good friend and guest, uh, one Sam Osena over here playing awesome. returning as Jackrabbit. <laughs> um, looking very forward to that. Sam, tell them about yourself and tell them where they can find you. Um. I don't know what I don't there's that I, you didn't do that last time so I wasn't prepared we're, we're to talk excited. about myself this time yeah. um make up you gotta make up for lost yeah. time yeah you know I'm, I'm just gonna leave it at that I I don't want to talk about myself I'd rather play Jackrabbit and be somebody else today uh, you can find me at at Sam Tatanko on uh Twitter and Instagram good enough for us there we go yeah <laughs> Um, we do have once again a giveaway. This time we have a uh, another hundred dollar gift certificate to Cauldron Tower to give away. Um, tonight's keyword is Jackrabbit. Yeah, uh, one word. One word. I hope that doesn't mean I'm about to get um, you know killed off. It's usually the code <laughs> for something just... bad's about to happen. It's just such. <laughs> um, no, no, it, it's a uh, no. Just Jackrabbit, and you get entered for the the gift certificate. Uh, we'll give that out back at the end. And as you can, uh, if you're interested in what you can purchase, it, well, you can get one of these, or what Scott's wearing, or what Sam is wearing tonight. One of these Everest Christmas shirts, among many other things. Uh, dice, dice. Nice. There are dice. There's. Uh, I actually ran out of hats. I just sold the last hat. Uh, we have raglans. We actually we have even one designed by. Our good friend down here, Michael uh, mm -hmm. Z. Chung. Yeah. And it was actually a big seller. People love that one. Uh, and, nice. Uh, what are you doing? Sorry. Oh, I thought, I thought you were going to grab one. I thought you were going to put like, come back from the camera and have it on. I'm like, holy shit. Like, <laughs> there's a whole flash change. <laughs> and I had to be blown away. Um, but yeah, tonight the keyword is uh, Jackrabbit. Just type that in the chat and you'll be entered to go. Um, if we have a sub goal, uh, as I do and as I've had for many times, that should, uh, should it be hit. We will give our winner, in addition, a uh, copy of the Expanse uh, board game by WizKids Games. Let me grab that. Here it is. Get a copy of this. Very hard to get. A lot of fun. Oh, yeah. And uh, um, last but not least, we have a Patreon. Great way to support the stream. Uh, obviously, your loves and you know, just watching stuff's great. Love that. But Patreon's <laughs> place to be. Uh, you can find out who we're going to have guests on way ahead of time, see previews and stuff like that. We have bonus episodes on there. Uh, it is a, it's just, it's just the place to be. And last but not least, uh, as we announced last week, we have, I think this is my, and I'm, I'm playing a very dangerous game. I'm trying to see if I can remember my commands offhand, off the top of my head. Um, that is not it. That was not it either. Oh, that was <laughs> it. I got it the second time. All right, cool. So we do have an Abrax Pessimist podcast. Uh, you can go check that out over on Podbean and listen to it on whatever your favorite uh, app is. Uh, Samsung Podcast, uh, Apple Music, Google Podcast, Amazon. I mean, all it's, everything's there. Uh, how you want to listen to it. And uh, I'd like to thank all our listeners in the UK. For they seem to like it, so I'm not going to thank you very much. Wherever you are, listen to it. Thank you. I, I F5 those numbers all night. That's all I do. Um, but... That aside, uh, we're going to get ready with our episode here. So, be right back.
All right. Last we left off, uh, the crew of the Sinclair had been approached by an old friend, Jack Rabbit, about a proposition uh, from one Governor Anderson Dawes, among others, uh, to sell the Sinclair into OPA Navy, the, the, the active uh, potential uh, next kind of step that's being taken here in the full system. Um, and uh, the offer was accepted, and, and to the but the idea was that the crew would be able to still crew the man the ship and stuff like that too. Uh, Myrtle would still be the captain, but would no longer own the ship, but would have some alleviations with financial troubles. It is, yep. Um, but they are now uh, Myrtle uh, is now off being briefed and signing paperwork and the like. Uh, some some of the cast here has suggested that should be a literally a bonus episode of 30 minutes watching Myrtle <laughs> find paperwork. Like. Um, but uh, this is kind of, but there was another revelation that happened at the end uh, at, uh, the previous day for you all that you all kind of had to sit on and think about a little bit here. Um, and some of you are handling it differently than others. Um, let me uh, go ahead and roll. Danny, um, you're watching, uh, you're back at your, your place watching Crystal uh, do her work, searching up this Sebastian Pope figure, uh, some 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 Koyo energy you never really heard of. Um, and uh, it's it's like uh, pretty early um, between shifts and you get a um, you get an incoming video call on your uh, hand terminal from inside the station. Like someone's trying to call you. Um, and the ID comes up with um, the loudspeaker, the, the bar that you and the crew have frequented uh, here on series. Kind of a quasi sports bar. Uh, I'll answer it. Yes, sir. Yeah. Hey, um, is this the uh, the HR lady? Uh, or the uh, the Sinclair, the HR or the representative, the talker? I mean, uh, sure. Okay. Wait, hey, what, what, what do you need? Uh, yeah, I got I got your uh, your 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 chums down here, and uh, you can't sleep here. I need someone to come pick them up. I, uh, I'll be right there. All right, all right. And then like it, he's all right, and he and like after you you get it after he hangs up, you get a photo uh, from the same number kind of thing, and it looks like you see like a table with a bunch of like uh. Uh, uh, beer uh, bulbs and like you know some hard alcohol and so that too um, and you can see this like head down individual a little bit pretty pretty uh, pretty good size uh, head down face down uh, looks like they've had a pretty heavy night of drinking probably by themselves honestly uh, but you're pretty sure it's Wyatt passed out in the bar so i think zenny was like getting getting her stuff ready like getting her jacket on and everything and like gets that picture and like stops because she was not expecting of all people that person to be in this state uh so she more quickly gets ready and goes a lot faster to get there <laughs> Do you want to uh, dial anyone in on this, or uh, it's not a very long? Uh, uh, I won't unless there's more of an issue when I get there. <laughs> keep it on. You keep it on speed dial. Gotcha. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, you head on over. Uh, you start your way heading your way over. Uh, Jack Rabbit and Waxor. Uh, what, what kind of stuff were uh, were you getting up to, Jack Rabbit? Like light of this kind of stuff uh, the proposition of the, the Sinclair but even like having seen that Sebastian Pope uh, is alive and apparently uh, employing people how much time has passed I mean it's been uh, like the from... night it's been the day okay, it's just like the... It's, it's barely been a day yeah probably like 12 hours okay. honestly. is it the is it like the next day like late yeah. in the morning it's like early, is okay. it like early it, it's not even like morning morning right yeah like, it, it, morning is kind of a relative term when you're on a space station but yeah it's it's more right. of like you guys have had you, you if you wanted to have rested you could have rested uh, 
or you could have gone out for a very fantastic night of drinking. Mm -hmm. uh, fantastic night of drinking, that, that would have been had. So okay. I don't know if Waxer's the drinker or not. Are you a drinker, Waxer? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I drink sometimes. So I imagine at some point uh, we probably left and gone to somewhere yeah. so, else. Yeah, so the three of you had gone out drinking, uh, you know, kind of, uh, and uh, at some point, you know, Wyatt decided to stay back and kind of like, um, while the two of you were saying, let's go some food or whatever you want to go do. Uh, maybe you want to go see if your old your old uh, girlfriend at the uh, security center is still there. Oh, uh, no way, man. <laughs> <laughs> that did not end good. No way. We just, uh, it'd be more like the opposite. Waxer would be like, this way's faster. I'll be like, no, no, no we gotta, we got to go this way. Maybe, oh. maybe maybe she walked into the bar last night and you were like, oh, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, yeah why we leave so abruptly? Eh? We were just yeah, you kind of you kind of hide behind wax or as, as you as you walk. I just I just ordered this bulb. Eh? Okay, yeah, yeah. we out of here. Yeah, don't worry, they got open container laws. Uh, <laughs> um, okay, so you guys kind of went out and hung out for a bit and kind of uh, had had a nice night of drinking or whatever it is. Uh, decided to give what to whatever, um, but you definitely kind of were. I don't I don't know if you're drinking to forget or drinking to celebrate or even both or not really sure. And waxer, you're kind of not really sure. The sun was going yeah. on with the XO is what you remember. And it's the next day. And uh, do you guys maybe want to check if you made it back to the ship? Um, oh, and I should mention, uh, you're not, none of you are right now sleeping at Samela's and Myrtle's place. They are yeah. on a end, we'll say, uh, right. <laughs> of sorts. Um, and have uh, decided to no longer allow their couch to be annexed. Um, I mean, I think we would. Tr I mean, definitely check in with XO. I mean, I felt like that was short leave, right? Right before we ship off to the Navy. Well, you guys got a while to the Navy ships off. It's uh, more of, uh, but you might be running some missions though too. You're not just gonna go join up the. If they, and they have to check the ship, and there's a lot of procedures, like almost like yeah. a week of like paperwork and craft to do the ship. Um, but um, yeah, well, actually, you check on the XO. Uh, do you want to dial them up? Do you want to go look for them? What do you want to do? Yeah, yeah, I just, I, I just go look around the ship, you know, okay. just uh, kind of looking around, um, make sure you, that things are right, look for XO. Yeah, sure. You come back to the ship, and you don't, uh, you know, you can check the, the check-ins if you want to, but uh, he hasn't checked in. None of the, all the crew saying, like, man, come on, like, Michael's is like, now he didn't come, he, I didn't see him come in last night, man. Uh, do you got, you guys got the fancy Davy stuff, I mean, he's, oh, he got a hotel or something? Yeah, yeah, maybe, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, that's sweet though, but uh, yeah, just let's just keep doing what we're doing. I, I, you know what, XO, he always on time. He he'll be back. Yeah, I'm not gonna like feel overly concerned. I feel like I've never he's never been late to me. Mm. You know, like he's always on top of it. So, you you do worry, uh, Jack Rabbit. You do get a little worried about Wyatt in that if he is alone, he's a Martian alone on a very Belter centric state. Mm -hmm. I feel like like part of the night, like whenever I would be, I imagine like it's one of those like everybody's asleep, wandering around in the places, kind of a little tipsy, talking about like, I don't know what what happened with with Wyatt and Myrtle joining OPA Navy. We're going to have to teach them to belt up, you know, we got to teach them belt ways. You know what I'm thinking later? Maybe we uh, go into one of the spaces. We can get somebody here. We take away the gravity. We push him around in there and teach him how to do things better style. Don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, maybe they get longer. Real fast. <laughs> put, them on, put, them on, put them on a rack, yeah. Yeah. Um, then you, you come up to the loudspeaker, and uh, as you enter the bartender, see, you, you, recognize, you recognize him from the video call. He's not your usual guy, but he's like the other another shift that you guys have. And he kind of point, he kind of nods over. There's, there's your, there's your man. And you see, and you can see, there's like uh, Wyatt, like passed out, drunk, lots of bottles. I mean, it looks like they haven't picked up a few of them because they don't want to bother him. But how long have you been like this? Oh, uh, you asking me or him? Him in okay. character. Uh, make a uh, well. First off, make a tolerance test for me. To figure out how drunk you are. Uh, Tolerance. That's a, that's always fun. I like this. <laughs> Nine. Nine. Okay. Uh, why you hear some sort of murmur? I mean, there's been background noise throughout the whole night. People are watching sports. You're watching star racers, plays games that happen already on Luna and Mars, whatever. 
Uh, you don't. Nothing really dogs you here. You're pretty drunk. Uh, Danny, he looks like he's pretty sloshed. I mean, you've seen guys like this. They're not going to react unless you. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Get imposing, yeah. maybe? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I asked the, the barkeep how long he's been. Um, he, well, he came this. out here with some with some friends last night. They were all celebrating and whatever, but he kept on drinking. They they buggered off. Uh, they probably wanted to go get some food or enjoy some other uh, series entertainment. But uh, this one, he just stayed back and kept on ordering. We let him order, and he's all he's all paid up. Now he's all good, but he can't sleep here. Okay. Okay. So, so but we, we good. Yeah. Don't worry. We good. We just gotta. You know, I don't want to. But I don't want to call station security on him or nothing, man. He's good. He's a good I, customer. Yeah. 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 No. No. No worries. Uh, I'll go over to where Y it is. Um. And I'll sit <laughs> across from where he's like on the table. Huh? Um, and um, I'll start. I'll start gently and just like reach <laughs> and just reach over and like put a put a hand on his shoulder and just kind of like shake him and say, "Hey, hi, hey, uh." <laughs> hey XO, uh, are you uh, you all right? Why? Give me a uh, give me a perception touching test. Oh my! If you, <laughs> if you feel if you feel if you feel a sensation. Nine again. Jesus Christ! No, yeah, he's. I mean, he's. You can I smell it. <laughs> you can smell it on him too. Like, and he's got that kind of like those sweats and everything from drinking too much. And, uh, I mean, look at what uh, he's been drinking. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, I kind of take all this in and nod to myself, and I go back to the bar and I say, "Hey, can you give? Uh, can I get some? Uh, just some, some nice, some, just some, some water or something uh, like that." He pours you up. You want ice? Uh, no, I'm not. not, 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 not yet. <laughs> he gives you a little, a little glass of water. Uh, can I get two more of those, please? Gotcha. He pulls up some more. Yeah. I'm going to take all three of them to the table. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put one off, like, far off to the side. No, I'm going to put one on the table next to us. Okay. And I'm going to stand. Because he hasn't been responding very well, I'm going to, like, gently pull him back so he's not mm -hmm. on the table anymore. So he's kind of more sitting up and pour both cups of water over top of his head. Okay. Uh <laughs> <laughs> you, there's no rule for this one. Uh, you wake up uh, pretty startled. Uh, give me like a, give me like a willpower test, willpower uh, self-discipline or whatever it is. It's kind of rolling. Was it seven? All right, I'm rolling low tonight. <laughs> well, you're in a low place, I reckon. <laughs> so it works. What that, that song, Garth Brooks? I got I got rolls in low places. Thanks. All right, um, oh, <laughs> but that was bad. Okay, that was really bad. That was a low. <laughs> a low one. Um, the uh, you you wake up and like you get this kind of like rush of stuff around you, like uh, like you're being like drowned and confined and everything like that too. Uh, as soon as I see his eyes open, because I've done this before and I people are just I have no idea how people are going to react. I want to like make sure his like not tilted back the entire time um so just kind of like like arm around the shoulders kind of like tip him forward a little bit and grab the cup of water and just kind of hold it and say hey waxer uh, not waxer so sorry Wyatt um you wake it Why, just a little me, bit give me a um I'm gonna have let's make this a medicine check from Zenny like this is medicine of some sort, like therapy, oh like intelligence. And then why we're going to have that opposed by stamina, constitution stamina. That's better. We'll be 13. 13, okay. Uh, yeah, you managed not to puke. And then he, you kind of uh, hold him up as he kind of struggles a little bit and kind of comes to his senses. Uh, Why you're kind of there? Things are groggy. Eyes hurt. Light hurts. Your head hurts. Things hurt. And you can you feel you're being held up, uh, kind of barely. And you can see this like uh, kind of uh, hanging uh, 
above you, kind of hanging uh, purple hair uh, that you recognize as your uh, crewman, crew person, uh, Zenny. Where am I? Well, you're uh, you're still at the you're still at the bar, Wyatt. I'm gonna slide the as soon as I hear him okay. talking, I'm gonna slide the the third glass of water up to him and say, "You gotta drink that." take a drink you start drinking it you, you drink a, you don't drink all of it but you drink a, a little bit of it it doesn't feel good initially but you, you're like this is gonna help it's like your soul well why am i here why am i not uh i'll like s- squat down and like put my arms on the, the the table so i'm kind of a little bit closer and say that's a that's a good question um the, they were saying you came in here with a with a couple folks from the ship. I, I'm I'm guessing maybe Waxer and Jackrabbit, but they said you yeah. were drinking this whole time. Or is is everything time okay? Is, I think it's, I stopped about an hour ago. Maybe maybe two. The 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 bartender goes. Yeah, he's been asleep, he's been asleep for about an hour and a half. I drink a lot. I can tell. You want to talk about why, or do you want do you want something to eat? Maybe I don't know. It might help. More drink, but coffee uh, this time, preferably. Oh, right. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, the bartender hears it all. He's he's kind of watching, and he's like, starts falls with coffee up a bowl. So. Uh, so I'll, I'll slide into the, the, the chair across yeah. like across from where you're sitting. Yeah. It's definitely a weird situation we're in now. Well, for me. Maybe not you guys. Um, um, what kind of... what kind, the, Being part of the, the OPA? Is that what you're talking about? Or yeah, it's not really a place else? for a Martian, I don't think. Well, you're not really a typical Martian now, are you? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. It'll be all right, though. We should probably get back to the ship, though, but I might need help walking. Yeah, maybe, maybe we, maybe we take a take a little bit. I mean, there's no rush. There's no rush yet. The ship's not going anywhere. And you just should drink. You drink this coffee. Drink another water. And, uh, the loudspeaker is not known for its coffee. It does the trick. It's probably known at least a little bit to give people things like that are that are not alcohol to get them sober uh, enough to leave yeah, their the, establishment. Is my that, hope. <laughs> yeah, it's not where their markup is. Uh, why? Um, we don't have to talk about it now. Because I don't want to take advantage of you in this space, but that I do want to know what the Sebastian Pope is to all you. You all had this. this I mean, Jack Rabbit threw a table last night. I mean, he it, he he's got to mean something to you all, and I, I, we don't have to talk about it now. But I mean, I just want to know who who they are, so I know. You know, bad people. Worse than probably anybody we've dealt with ever. Probably. They're good at take. He's good at taking things from you that you don't want taken. I sort of like kind of doze out again, trying to stay awake, but doing a terrible job at it. Uh, I, um, I, uh, grab the, 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 the coffee huh? and, uh, walk over to the, the bartender and, you know, ask if there's any, any, like, any, essentially to go cups, uh, uh to get an, they, a, a coffee he, for him. He, he made sure to give it to you in disposable. They don't, they don't, okay, serve, fantastic. They, they don't serve their coffee in the good cups here. That's good. Want, <laughs> Great. If you're drinking coffee here, they don't want you to stay. That means it's time to go. Okay, cool. Uh, then, then I'll just, I'll just top off, I'll top off his coffee, 
Um, and I'll get one too. Why not? Uh, and I'll say, uh, why, why don't we walk then? Uh, so you don't, uh, you don't fall asleep again. Maybe. Might have to carry me about halfway there, probably. Oh, I, I, I've, it's fine. I've done that before. And I'll just look to the right and then just puke everywhere. Yeah. Okay. You puke all the things. <laughs> ah. I'll just pat him on the shoulder and say, and just slide over the rest of the water. Say, you should really drink that now. I'll send some more credits towards the the barkeep. They, they got gotcha. you. Trust me, you're going to be paying the asshole tax tonight. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, okay. You clean the bar to problem. They, they. I mean, how much money you spent last night? They're, they're all cleaning up a little bit of puke and eat the work. Um. Sorry, buddy. All right. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, they're, they're like, hey, hey. They, they say to use any. Uh, hey. Um, uh. uh Crew, they everyone come back here? More than welcome. <laughs> Good to know. Uh, yeah, I'll like, I'll, I'll, I'll scoop under Scott's yeah. arms and help, oh. help him along. Uh, I'll, well, I'll head towards the ship because that's oh. where he wants to go. Yeah, it's not, it's not uh, too far out, and it's a pretty easy. You can get a cart or whatever you need. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Um, Jack Rabbit and. Wax or uh, yeah, the Exo didn't show up. Uh, the crews are kind of hanging out. They're like, yeah, he's doing whatever, man. He's probably having a good time. You know, we all had a good time, whatever it is. Um, but uh, Wax or one of them, uh, one of the crew uh, guys you've been working with for a while now. Uh, one. Go ahead, like Mick Michaels. No, no, <laughs> no, I Mick Michaels. This is gonna be uh, excuse me, uh, Yuri. Yuri calls oh, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's, your, he's currently your cook on the ship. Uh, like, and he, he goes, hey, he goes, I'm Waxel, man. Um, I want to ask you, this, uh, down with this OPA Navy thing, man? Hey, look, yeah. Um, I, I talked to uh, XO and, and Bosslet and a lot of them. I mean, we we all talked about it long and hard, and, and we decided, hey, it might be a, a good choice we got to make, but, uh, Hey, I, I'm wary too, but uh, I think our choices are very slim right now. There, there's a war brewing. Yeah, well, that, well that's kind of what I was thinking, man. Like, I, I don't think I'm gonna go along. Hello? Oh, oh, there's my Michael. Please. Okay, are you? Ah, ah, very strange. <laughs> that was uh, weird. Uh, you're like time traveling there for a second. Kind of cool. <laughs> Um, but yeah, uh, you, uh, he's kind of like, he's like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to, I don't think I'm going to go along, man. I find something. Yeah, you, sh- you sure. What, what's on your mind? Well, what, what holding just, you back, Yuri? Man, I, you know, I was just, I was just a botanist. But I was just putting together systems and testing, running basic tests on stuff. Man. I, I don't know. That's not, that's not for me. I can cook, but that's not much. Yeah. I mean, we, you cook some good kibble. Uh, we, we're going to need you, but, uh, I mean, are you sure you don't want to talk? Have some time to think about it. Maybe talk to Bosley. Talk well, to XO. I don't, I don't think the ship's shipping out for a while, but uh, I, I don't know, man. He's like, I, I feel bad because like, you know, the XO captain, you, they kind of look. He sees Jack Rabbit. He's like, are they? They all, you know, you guys rescued from on Canopy and got got us out. But this is, I don't know. I, I can't go along with this. It's not for me. Yeah, no, I, I understand. And, um, you know, there are a lot of factors going in. Um, look, the system's going to be real unstable soon, yeah? And um, us joining with the Navy, too, we're going to, the ship and everything, we're going to have the the credits to support it. Everybody's going to get credits, and we're going to have a job, basically, the entire time. And we're not going out there to fight and kill nobody. We already talked about that. You know, we're going to try to do what we're going to do to help people and avoid as much of that kind of conflict as we want i know xo he don't want to go to war not not a lot of us want to go to war so you're you yeah you should stay with us if you can if you want uh, um we take care of each other we're family uh, on the like, ship no, man, i don't think it's not i'm not worried about you not taking care of. i'm just worried about when it when down but look man this, this stuff here on on series no man i i you know i got a degree stuff man i can i can help them out I yeah. don't know. I maybe I'm just kind of thinking about like I could, I could probably do more good here, but I, I maybe that what we had that one that one run in, but that was, was just like 
some chumpy and naro ships man that that coyo's little yeah this ant ships whatever but we're talking about like making a navy like the unn or the mcrn man that that's scary stuff yeah i mean yeah i i understand you if you decide that just remember though you know this i think what's going to happen is going to touch us everywhere so the, there'll really be no place that's going to be too safe from it. But um, I understand your choices, yeah? Yeah, correct. But I don't know, Yuri. You, we're going to miss your cooking. <laughs> oh, he's like, no, man, I'll, I'll make sure to leave my recipe to the computer. That's not a problem. Yeah. Uh, Jack, you see this guy, you see, like, uh, Waxer talking to this guy who's one of the, like, one of the crew members. He seems to be a cook or something like that on the ship. Um, I have a general hand, though, around the ship. And uh, he's kind of looking over you once in a while. But he's talking to Waxor. Maybe he's talking about you or something, but you're not sure. You want to do anything or? Um, I think I would just, like, if he were looking at me, I would just make a point of really looking back until oh. he looked away, like that kind of deal, and then shrugging at Waxor. He's not, like, staring at you. He just kind of keeps on looking over once in a while. But, but... I mean, do I notice anything odd about the him being distracted, or does he look intimidated? You could make like a intuition or empathy check, perception, okay. if you want to. So communication, all right. Okay, all right, so uh, that is a eight, nine, 14, two fours. Your best guess, Waxer, this guy survived, like got thrown into a war zone on Ganymede. He doesn't want to be in a situation where he's gonna go into another one. Yeah, he just scared, he got cold feet. I get uh, it. I, I, that's a, I mean, harsh, that's a little harsh, yeah. but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean you don't want to go? You don't want to go do yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wuss, man. I thought you were hard. Yeah, yeah, okay. you, no, I get it, Yuri. Yeah. No. I, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah so see. he's he's just kind of like he's he's not a fighter, man. You know, he's not yeah. a fighter, but now you, this would make him officially like a, like a, a warrior. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. But he's kind of well, like. Uh, I say, yeah, Yuri. Just make sure you you um, talk to XO. That, hey, he'll hey. understand too. Don't worry about it. You'll be able to to um, relieve your duty. You know. Yeah, he's like, no. I just, I just want to tell you, man, because we we've been through it. You know, we 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 we, we all we're gonna be we, we yeah. all together. And we got through it. And I'm not trying to abandon you. I was worried no. about you guys think I'm gonna abandon you. No, 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 no way, no way, uh, Copan. We want I want you to be safe. So I t thank you for telling me. And uh, yeah, no, you make a good choice. You, you know, right, just, staying alive. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And he kind of goes off and starts doing some other stuff around the ship. You know, kind of like shake my head and just yeah. look sort of bummed. I'll probably move over to Waxer after he left. I'm taking. I take it he was talking loud enough for you. Kind of caught here. bits and pieces of it. That the guy okay. seems like he's like second guessing something about OPA Navy. You talk about the Navy, a little yeah. bit of military stuff. Yeah, and I would just say to to Waxer, I'd say. Uh, probably best that he go. He go now. This this not a thing for people who do things halfway, you know. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna need another cook. <laughs> I just sort of say bluntly, yeah. Uh, but yeah, not for and everybody. What, what about you? It seemed like you maybe feeling halfway about it too. I mean, you know, I I I think uh, I'm with the crew. Yeah, um, I think if this were Cap and this were Wyatt. And Zenny, we all doing this. I mean, I came, they picked me up. I've been with them since Ganymede. So I feel like, I feel like this is the best thing to do. We got a ship. We got to, we got to get credits and survive for it. Maybe we could help people on the way, to, you know, save more refugees, transport more food or whatever. I just, you know, if I stay here, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to want to do something. But yeah, I, I, I ain't looking to kill nobody though. May not have no choice though, you know. Yeah, yeah. If it comes to that, I try. I try everything to do. Hopefully not to, but yeah, I'm ready to do it if I have to. Um, as you guys are kind of talking, you, you you guys can feel the ship. You can feel the the airlock open up and uh, glimpse it really quick. But you have Zenny and uh, Wyatt walking into the cargo hold. Uh, Zenny supporting Wyatt's thicker frame than you. Filters. Oh, oh, caca you see got, yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you can definitely see there's uh, he looks like he doesn't, he doesn't smell good. You guys can kind of see that's a little rough. I, I would probably just look at Waxer. It is maybe a bad time to take a video of him. I think he'd <laughs> like to see how he'd look in the morning, you know. 
Oh, I never seen XO like that. It did not be good, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go somewhere else. <laughs> oh, maybe, maybe we should cook him up some, uh, something to eat, though. Yeah. Oh yeah, maybe get that guy to cook him up something before he leaves. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we, maybe we, maybe we let him sleep it off first. <laughs> maybe we let him do that in a, in a, in a bed. Oh, you know, I just, I set a hot kibble by his bed. So that, that's actually one of the issues. Is that you have to remember the ship has a ladder. It doesn't uh, have a lift. Um, so, do you want me to carry him up there, Zenny? How hard is it to turn the gravity off? It doesn't turn on and off. I mean, your gravity's coming from the station spinning. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can haul him up. Maybe you he just gonna... sleep in here on the chair. Uh, you, you could, yeah, you got there's gravity couch. There's uh, you know, the gravity couches oh, or yeah. crash couches. So you can yeah. put them on one here in the in the. Yeah, the just yeah. Well, maybe okay, we put yeah. him in a room with the medical stuff. He always go in there anyway and sleep. That's that's upstairs too. Okay, yeah, oh, that's upstairs. <laughs> everything's upstairs. Who put it upstairs? <laughs> we did when stairs weren't an issue. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, no, I'll just find a, I'll just find one of the the crash couches and put them. Yeah, put him in there. Uh, Listen. just just for now, just so he can like get himself up the the ladder. <laughs> while, while you guys are talking about this, McMichael's kind of is in there. Yeah. And he's looking at you guys, and he's like, he's got like a data pad with him, and he goes, "Gotcha. Order a lift, lift attachment for a ladder. Check." He's like, "I was making a he's like, I was making a list for what the OPA needs to put on the ship." Yeah, yeah, put that on there. Yeah, yeah, no, that was a good idea. I didn't think about that one. A smart move. He's you, uh, Danny, you can kind of tell me like, Michael's like really wants to say something, but he's not going to say it. And he was going to, you're pretty sure he was going to say, yeah. do with that XO. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nobody better draw an XO while he's out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So you guys are sitting there in the cargo bay and Michael's goes back around doing like inventory and checking stuff off. Um, you guys are hanging out in the cargo bay with, uh, four of you. Uh, you got why it's like a conscious, but he's kind of taking it easy here on the crash couch. The crash couch feels pretty good. It's, it's actually very soft and like conforms to your body nicely. Uh, I want to make sure to give you the coffee that I was I was kind of precariously yeah. holding the entire time. Yeah, you, you're chill. <laughs> yeah. You're kind of sitting there drinking your coffee, chilling out. It's... Uh, hey, Zenny, uh, what happened to XO? Where's you? Was he? Was he still at the the bar? Yeah, yeah, he was still there when I got there. They called me up and said that yeah. Uh, couldn't say that anymore, so apparently he was there a while. Oh, they like him. Nah. Nah. Uh, I think I, I would I would I would try to talk a little a little softer so as one not to disturb Wyatt and his a little bit restfulness, but also to like talk about him while he's here. Um <laughs> <laughs> and I would say I would say I I think he's taking this OPA this OPA thing a little a little hard. I mean, on top of uh, whoever that person was, that uh, I mean, you seem to recognize last night, Jack Rabbit. Oh yeah. I don't know. Yeah, who who's that Koyo to you two? Uh, that's a long story. That's a long story that to tell, you know. Yeah. Basically. Um, Wherever Pope go, people die. That's that's the thing. And sometimes those people are people that we know and love. Uh, he the reason. Uh, he the reason Onyx dead. He he the reason all kinds of people dead. Uh, Claire too. And I nudge Wyatt like yeah. is he the reason about Claire too. Would that would it go that far? You know the Sinclair with the ship be named after. Hmm. Um, and then while, while you're doing this, you get a nice little being on your. Uh, hand terminal uh, from Crystal. She's got like the, like a batch of stuff for you to start going through about Sebastian Pope. Wait, yeah, I'll I'll start kind of like uh, uh, glancing through it as I'm as as they're they're talking. I'll give you, I'll give you the quick the quick rundown. Uh, Sebastian Pope was or is the uh, the owner of Pope Sanchez Dipping, uh, the rather big conglomerate, uh, one of the competitors of Mal Quick when Mal Quick. Uh, or while Malquick's still around and everything like that, too. Um, they uh, were doing a lot of different uh, a lot of different projects, a lot of different things they have their hands in. Um, but he had been putting a lot of effort in cryogenics pro uh, program, where they his goal was to try to reach the next star over um, by uh, cryogenic sleep. His was a proposal 
that was actually uh, considered by uh, the Latter Day Saints prior to them going with the Nabu project. Um, they I'm probably. Were, are you saying these things out loud, Zenny? Like, no, I'm just kind of reading okay. through it. <laughs> uh, you, you want to glimpse over her shoulder? Yeah. Okay. Because I, I imagine whenever it's that part about the cryo thing, I'd be like, yeah, you know, when I say they never like anything about Beltis, uh, one of those one of those guys in that cryo team was my friend Titan. Uh, we found him. He cooked. <clears throat> he made up like a popsicle inside that thing. He didn't want to do that shit. That's that Pope man. Everything around him, it touched like that. He don't care about no one. And then I just like sit down really heavily um, beside Wyatt, uh, hear, and then be like, "Oh, and you hear, good. hear uh, as uh, Jackrabbit sits down hard. You can hear the gimbals hissing as the the crash couch moves around a bit. So what you're saying? He tested on belters? Yeah, tests everything on belters. You take that blue shit, put it on belters, see what happened to them. I was just like very slowly turned towards Waxer with like. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> yeah. Um, but does it does it say where where he's from? Like, from Earth. Is, is he Earth? Okay. Yeah, he 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 inherited his company from his uh his family, and uh, he's done pretty well with it. Um, but there was like lot like some rumors of him. Uh, the big thing, the last big thing about him was like him, a rumor of him dying in a crash of his yacht exploded um, about the time that Eros was going down. And uh, there was thought that he, he was aboard and died, but he showed up the last, like, he's basically been out of the limelight for like a year, and now he's like, oh, I'm, uh, evidence of him being around. There's a few, there's a few photos um, if you want to pull those up. Oh, Wyatt, you were saying? I was just mentioning how it seems like every culture has something to screws the belters over from Martians to Earthers to more belters it's just it's a never ending cycle of shit for them or for you guys I'm sorry yeah hope hey hmm. he said he sounded like a bad man tested and this tested on belta thing I don't know yeah yeah that boils there, my blood there there's nothing in like the 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 things you're reading Zane, about him testing on belters like without their approval type thing i mean he had people that were test subjects by all means and they were mm. they were volunteers but um against their will is a different story mm -hmm. um there's nothing to well, i imagine that that wouldn't have I definitely wouldn't have had any sort of documentation for it yeah so but he was he was really interested in the latter-day saints uh because he wanted he wanted to go beyond uh, the, the edge of the solar system too and go off the next star himself but it seems like um, there's, there was just kind of an abandonment of his project a few years ago like it just seemed like no one really cared about the cryogenic program and he couldn't get funding for it anymore I look at everybody and be like I don't want to fight any more wars I don't really want to fight anybody anymore but what I do want to do is find this Pope guy and put a few bullets in his head that's that's it. Look over at Waxer because we had just talked about how he doesn't want to kill anyone, and I say sometimes you got to, you know, it's a good. Does it sound like a bad man? I mean, I say we find him first, and we just stop him. Yeah, and I let you do all the other part. <laughs> who does uh, who does person in the video that Myrtle showed us? Who that person? You know that you know you know that. Yeah. Uh, we, we we saved his, his we saved him. He was working uh, with the. It was a uh, black the, guy. The golden, black yeah, guy. The, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was uh, he was uh, doing some stuff with a uh, with a black sky OPA. Um, he's just some he's just some Arthur who is just, just smart kid who didn't want to do what his family was doing, and so he went off into space, and then OPA found him and. I don't know. His family wanted him to come home, I guess. So, you think you can uh, ask him where he be? I mean, I'm pretty sure he's on he's on Luna still. His I'm message sure. his message did talk about him. Like, you have a copy of it, but it does mention him like getting a new job. They were going, and yeah, going they somewhere, were, yeah. yeah. But they're yeah. not. They're probably not on Earth or Luna anymore. Um, oh, that's true. Yeah. With the, yeah. He was very he was very excited about this new ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a lot of contacts out there, right, Zinni? Uh 
I can, yeah, I can, I can. So, I got people who know people, yeah. Yeah, let's see, maybe you can send out some feelers and see if we can figure out where this guy's at. Yeah, okay. And I don't know what the cap's going to think of all this. So just keep this between us for now. Don't, don't want to keep her out of things, but I don't want her to get in trouble for things either. She's got a lot on her plate right now, too. She's got a lot of paperwork to sign. <laughs> um, yeah, Crystal, Crystal's come back with like the basic end of the file, and, and she's like, yeah, I, I, I've hit kind of a dead end. The basic says like she's hit a dead end on it, just kind of got done going through the public records and everything. Um, but there is like apparently him being alive, people thought he was dead. He never really was a pronounced dead, they assumed he was. Um, mm. But he's back on functioning, has his corporation. It, um, he's kind of re pivoted uh, after the cryogenics project kind of fell apart, didn't pan out for them. Um, but uh, there is a, you do find an image of him. She did manage to find an image of him on a station. Um, mm-hmm. And he's like well dressed. Uh, he's a good looking guy. Uh, he's, he's probably like in his like uh, mid 40s. So, um, you know, well groomed and everything. He's still wearing fancies. But the weird, is, but the weird thing about him is that like they, one of the rumors is that like based on these photos is that he like his arm, his left arm was like uh, amputated somehow or so, like he, he's regrowing his left arm. He seems to have like this giant, like um, almost like cylinder cast on his arm. It looks almost like a regrowth tank, like to, to regrow limbs they do, like they do on Earth, but it's not translucent. Like you can't see the limb. It's like a solid piece. Um, and there's, but there's some, but the, the main rumor is that he's like trying to regrow his arm, but he doesn't. It's, it's some sort of a danced cast, mm. I think. Hmm. But it is weird. It is kind of weird. Like usually, to be in a hospital doing that, but rich enough to afford the good, good, good shit. Hmm. Yeah. Where do we start looking for this pope? Or maybe we can start gathering information, like you said. I mean, while we wait in here. I mean, Wax, do you remember his the message? It talked about a little bit about how uh, Batanko's family had worked with Pope before, and they had. About ship designs and everything, so maybe there's like something there. Yeah. Building a mm-hmm. ship like that wouldn't, especially they're coming from Earth. I hide. would, I would definitely then um, ask Crystal to look uh, for specifically um, interactions between Pope and Butenko, like and mm-hmm. and where those keep popping up, um, and specifically Butenko because. Uh, if if he slash his family's business is currently doing something and going somewhere, then there might be records as to where they are going. And if uh, Yakiv is going somewhere, it sounded like Yakiv was going to be with Pope. So that's 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 my and Zenny's theory. Whether um, it's correct, who knows? <laughs> looking, looking at the records that were provided to you, there is a, there has been a working relationship relationship between Botanko and uh, Pope Sanchez uh, shipping for I mean decades, where like they were designing ships for the ship, the, the cargo ships for them and everything. Um, but what like Yaki was talking about, like it's, what he was excited about, was not some cargo ship. It sounded like a research right. vessel or something like something advanced, which is yeah. way different than anything that Pope San or Botanko's ever built or designed for uh, them. So like. There's something, um, them working together is not suspicious, but yeah, Key, right. who's not involved in that kind of field at all, is completely left field. Especially a very ambitious young man, who I might add, uh, for those at home who haven't watched the episode, is very handsome. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> look at his ID. Uh, <laughs> but, um, yeah, uh, so yeah, it does kind of throw you off a little bit, but she can start trying to, she, what's like what she Flight should, logs? Yeah, what she's gonna do is start pulling like the docking logs and like shipments. It's gonna, she says it's gonna take her a few days to really dig through all this stuff. But she's like, there's a story. She's like, like let's say, there's a, there's a story here. This could make a career for me. Got anything? And the more your, the more your, your friends can tell me about this Pope and what he was up to, the better. Uh, yeah, fantastic. I mean, we all, I thought he was, we all thought he was dead. Yeah. Um, I'll <laughs> to to Jackrabbit and White specifically. I'll say, okay, well, we 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 
we can start trying to find information about where they are. Um, do you... This is not, it's not as fun as putting a couple of bullets in them, but we could completely... My friend Crystal does a lot of writing, a lot of, a lot of things, reaches a lot of people with the things that she writes. Uh, and if we can, if we can find a way to maybe discredit him in, in more of a public sense, then before, you know, we find him and put, put some lead in his head, uh, you know, maybe he feels a little sting before that. That sounds like a good plan. You think you could just... make a difference? I mean, words I mean, make a big difference. Whatever we know about Pope is whatever happened, it never stick to him, you know? It just bounce off. So we can see what we can do. He got a lot of money. Yeah. The question is, is your friend safe from him? If she starts saying all this stuff, can she be protected in any way? Because there's no saying that he won't send somebody to take her out, I guess you could say. Or run her reputation. Uh, I mean, she's pretty tough when it comes to to people trying to talk back about her. But as far as like actual protection, I'll make sure that she's okay. Good. Um, but yeah, if uh, if if it's okay with you two, it doesn't have to be now, of course. But you know, if you want to talk to her a little bit about what you've not 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 anything specific, maybe, but. You know the thing, so she can kind of get a better idea of where to look about who this person is. You know, as far as you're comfortable, obviously. I don't want to make you like, you know, relive old pains and stuff. But he's a bad guy. Sounds like. Like whenever I can get upstairs to my room, there's a journal up there. There's everything that's happened. You can just have it and send it to her. It has yeah. everything that yeah. It has everything that's happened from this whole journey. So I'll just give you the parts that you need, but yeah. You can have it. Okay. Um background, but you get a little ding and you hear on like all on a few of the other uh and terminals in the place um and it's like a news alert mm -hmm. uh do you want to pull it real quick yeah okay um it says uh you and undersecretary of executive uh administration in the office of the secretary general uh esteban oh sorry no wrong i'm oh, sorry uh sadavir aaron wright resigns i just read it up uh do I know anything about this? Like, because uh, I'm imagining my own this, news this, reports. Sometimes I know it and I just this guy's like, okay. He's like second in command of the UN. Like, and it's like uh, resigns amid like uh, amid uh, unclear for unclear reasons. As immediate retirement immediate. Like, it's like really weird. Yeah. I would just say something like, look like politics gets shaken up again. Just kind of give a little alert. And you guys all, a few of you go ahead, if you have your news alerts on, you kind of get it. And you, uh, you know, this is definitely the kind of stuff that Crystal gets really interested in. Um, but yeah, everyone kind of gets that one. It's, okay. And it kind of shows him, like, uh, just kind of walking out of the building and such like that, too. And him explaining that he wants to spend more time with the family and uh, the stresses of the job and all this kind of stuff. It's really unclear, but it's kind of a weird thing, like, Everyone seems to be covering this. Okay. I think we should probably get some sleep, though. First thing, we've been up all night. Yeah. Guys, guys it passes out instantly. <laughs> Just... Yeah, you sleep in the <laughs> crash couch in your bunk, wherever you want to sleep, wherever you can sleep. Uh, it passes by pretty quickly. Um, he, uh... Wax, are you in your room, uh, the room you share at McMichael's, mm -hmm. and uh, McMichael's are shaking you awake? Yeah, well, hey, well, you gotta well. get. Hey, check this. Check this. Out. He points to, like the video, the video screen 
on the uh, the wall in the room. Yo, what are you showing me? On. And uh, <laughs> you look at it, and your first thought is this: like, this is some sort of psychedelic black light poster or some shit he's into. Man, why why are you waking me up and showing me your 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 videos, man? It's not it's the no, time. No, dude, yeah. this ain't mine. This ain't mine. Look at this. Look at this. And like, you can see there's like a scrawl across the bottom of like news and everything. And there's no music. Usually there's like music playing when he's when you like look at shit mm -hmm. like this. And it you, your eyes start to focus, and you can see that like it's like space, definitely like a planet of some sort. And then there's like this huge like, for lack of a better term, jellyfish emerging from the planet. Oh shit! It's like some sci-fi shit. It's, uh, it's I like grabbed, the, I grabbed like the screen, yeah, just to like look closer. Okay, you you know? kind of, you kind of hobble over and you yeah. come over to it, and like it's like a news report. It's saying like live feed from Venus. Oh shit! Uh, yeah, I'm gonna hit the uh, like the comm or whatever, like the uh, okay. the ship comm, and um, and I'm gonna put it on all the screens in all the room, and I'm gonna be like, uh, hey EXO, uh, hey everybody, sorry, sorry to wake you up. Uh, there's something on the feed. Everybody gotta see it. Danny, you're you're. Uh, were you sleeping on the ship or are you sleeping back at your place? Uh, is anyone to say? Zenny probably. Zenny is concerned about okay. Wyatt. <laughs> sure, sure. So probably would have uh, would have fallen asleep eventually um, in a crash crash nearby so him. So you and I'd also with... say Wyatt, you'd wake up with. I would have put a blanket on you. One of those things, like tucked it in real good, but roughly just to. Just to um, fuzzies. Mm -hmm. uh, the three of you wake up hearing Waxor say, hey, get up, wake up, check out the vid screen. And you guys can see like on the video screen in the, the, the video screens inside the uh, cargo there's like a queue. Like he kind of, ha he doesn't take it over the screen, but he has a queue on it saying like he wants you to, like, there's a request to review something. And uh, you can see that um, like he has the request up. And I'm like, hey, go get it. You know, what are you, what are you saying to him, Waxor? Like, what are you telling him? I said, uh, you got to look at the feed. Uh, they're showing something crazy coming out of off planet. It looked like one of them blue things or something. I don't even know what I'm seeing. Hey, McMichaels, go go make some coffee. I like tell him to go <laughs> yeah, make yeah. some bulbs. Like, yeah. He's kind of walking back and he's like, look, not trying to look at. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's okay. I said, uh, hurry up. <laughs> you guys are standing. You guys are standing there and like, uh, does, does anybody want to get up and or turn, have the screen turn on to wax? Oh, well, a thousand percent. I would okay. as soon as like. Yeah, he says the that. The screen comes on, and you can see like your there's like tons of alerts on all your phones. People, people you haven't talked to, like you know your your high school boyfriend asking you okay or whatever it is, right? But it's, it's like people are at, like, what's going on? There's like, tons of news alerts, and you can see that like what they're showing is this. Um, it's like an image, a live feed of Venus, and it's showing this like mass emerging from it that has like, it's kind of like a dome almost at the top, like but almost metallic-y, kind of like iridescent metallic with that blue kind of uh, glow you've seen before. Uh, those of you that were on the surface of Ganymede um, and those of you that were on the yacht back on Luna, uh, you've seen this glow before, but it's massive, the scale of this thing. I mean, it must be the size of like, I mean, it, it must be almost bigger than Tycho Station, to be honest, or hell, it might even be bigger than Ceres Station. Um, emerging out and you can see like it's being like pushed up by these like tendrils uh pushing it from the planet as it kind of emerges through the atmosphere of venus the fuck is that the fuck? yeah i think we would have said that at the same time because i almost said it so <laughs> and waxer hits the calm again it's like remember ganymede remember the thing i, I don't know what what it is but it looks something like that some alien shit was something Pope could do, you think? I'm just I'm messaging Crystal, saying. being like, "What the hell is this? <laughs> what she, am I looking at?" You, you you get her like busy signal. She's very busy. Oh, yeah. well, and awesome. I would I would immediately go into like all of the like weird feeds that I go into in the <laughs> deep webs of the internet just to be like, "What the fuck going on?" Uh, I'm gonna make my from, way from towards. That world where the crew is and grab, I'm going to grab some cough, bulb, bulbs of coffee yeah. from McMiles and head over to like, just so we could all sit and like watch it in the same room versus mm -hmm. me calming everybody. So, and that's yeah, kind of the thing me. as you, um, uh, you, you, as you do like the feet, like the, the screen follows you as you go through, or you can watch on your hand terminal. So that's not a problem. But yeah. a lot of people are kind of converged in the, uh, uh, some of the other crew members are in there in the, uh, the mess hall looking at the screen and they, they see you as you come in and they're like what the fuck is that um, I, don't, I don't know 
Yeah, it's uh unclear on what it may be. Um Jackrabbit, you're seeing like on the in the forum, people are thinking like some people are thinking like it's whatever whatever's left of Eros has emerged. And some people are saying that it's God, God the giant space jellyfish. Um some people believe it's like a, it was actually like uh, there was a hidden alien colony on Venus the whole time. And that when Eros crashed into it, it woke it up. Um, but people are like panicking. People are freaking out. Um, there's some other news alerts that have happened, too, since this happened, like a lot of other kind of stuff that isn't focused on this. But if you want to look through those, but it oh, looks yeah. like people are watching through it. Put um, them all on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's like all, all, right. all screens. Well, you yeah. start going through them. Um, it looks like uh, Jules Pierre Mao was captured off on IO, uh, that he was on IO's weird, that somehow like uh, he's been brought in by the Rasa Nante, James Holt Hall, um, that there was like a, um, a mutiny amongst the UN Navy uh, and they were firing on each other, uh, that somehow like uh, Mao was somehow responsible for both Eros and the situation on Ganymede. I mean, it's like freaking wild stuff. Like it's it's like just complete bedlam. Um, there's some it, you do get a few images of like Earth people are like panicking in the streets. Um, get some some images uh, here on the station. People are kind of like, what the fuck? Some people are like panic buying. Some people are like getting their ships and leaving Sirius Station immediately. Um, some people are just kind of staying there like in complete like ab, you know uh, abject horror watching this. I mean, some people are kind of like, that's not real. And you get you get you get every possible you get the hottest possible takes on this you can imagine, Jackrabbit. And please, if you have some hotter takes than that, I'd love to hear them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think what would have happened where Jackrabbit is like, if, if all of them would have spun by, but the first one would be the one that would be sticking with her, like this idea that the the people from Eros, like her home station, mm -hmm. you know. So you know, she has like little patch so she'd probably be just like kind of fiddling with it without mm -hmm. realizing that that's what happened and and she'd be saying all these out loud you know but you would notice her voice is like usually this kind of stuff would be exciting and she'd be really happy talking about it um and she'd find some of the theories funny but she's just sort of like she's sort of talking a little numbly and then at the end she would kind of say you i mean Maybe the people on Eros say not dead. I mean that that's another team, but maybe they all maybe they all go to way Onyx. Maybe somebody gotta go over there and shoot them all in the head. I mean that's a big jellyfish. <laughs> it's, it's big, yeah. I mean it's it's like like it's definitely bigger than Eros was when it crashed into it. Wait, 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 wait. What happened to Onyx? You just said that. You just said that he he. You just said he died. What do you mean went the way to Onyx? Yeah, he no, got. No. Yeah. Uh, did you know the story, Waxer? No, I don't think no. I no. I just seen his name in the engineering etched in, <laughs> but they never never talk about it much. Yeah, we we be uh, on one of Pope's ships. Um, there was there's a whole bunch of stuff going on. Anyway, that none of that matter. We walking back. Everything seemed fine. There is uh, we kind of people in the hallway. We going by and they spit some stuff up on him, make his eye go blue, make him go crazy like uh, like he he something else. He not he not himself, you know. He not himself. I ha he he told me he had to. We didn't know what he'd do. Uh, whatever, whatever happened, it turned him into some kind of monster. He don't want that. Man, maybe he turned into that shit like we saw on Ganymede, that big old, the big creature running through. But whatever that, that stuff, that that shit is also on the coming out of that planet. And if all those people on there, they turn into that crazy shit like you saw on Ganymede. Yeah. Whatever I think our job is the Navy's going to start it a little earlier than we thought. We are flying into that. <laughs> God, I hope not. Yeah, me. Really, really. Yeah. Hope not. I mean, I cannot believe what I'm seeing. 
Yeah, and then you guys all, like, you can see McMichaels is in the mess hall smoking a joint, where he's not supposed to be smoking a joint, but he's smoking a joint, and no one's really looking at him or carrying it. Yeah, 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 hand me that! Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, he's like, he's kind of, he blind passes it to you, or he's, like, <laughs> watching the shit. He's like, strange times, man, strange times. Yeah, you're right for once. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is much, man, everything's happening, dude, like, they go to war, and then they, they crash down on us, and then attack, and trying to get back to normal, and then this happens. Oh, man. I mean, how far are we away from this? <laughs> I thought, oh, man, we, we got we plenty of distance. I don't know what it's doing. Yeah. And you can see it's, like, slow moving, emerging. Like, it's, like, it's taking its time, but it doesn't seem to be, like, it, it's, it's not, you don't see, like, any thrust. You don't see, like, a, a drive on it. It just seems to be kind of, like, pulling itself out of the planet. Um, man, I, I bet you that the Martians they're gonna sh they're gonna go shoot that thing. I wonder what the UN gonna do too. I thought. I think like, gonna try to shoot it really too. Quick. Oh, I don't know. That, nah, he's like Michael's like, ah oh, man, they ain't gonna shoot at it, man. They're gonna try to figure out how to use it against us. That's what they do. I've been telling you, man. That's what they do. Yeah, well, we don't know yet. Yeah, you know, hey, that's that's they're gonna gonna capture that thing first. That thing is huge, ah. man. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna get, kill us. They're gonna destroy everything. Yeah, man, that thing make the Navu look small. He's, he's uh, like, and he's like, he's just looking at it like, like, oh, God. He's, mm -hmm. this is, and like, yeah. So they're all kind of sitting around, like, some are like, one of the guys, uh, one of your crew members, uh, that's uh, Jay, is the other their bio guy. He's looking at it. And he's just like. Like it looks like a like a jellyfish or like you ever see these? I don't know. I'm not sure if any come here. But we were trying to grow a few of them on Ganymede years back. You get a little you get a little bed of uh, water, and then on top of the water the plant floats. It's kind of flat, but it has all these like vines and everything under the water. They call like pads. Kind of remind me of that. You know, had the things hanging out. You can't really see what's going on underneath here, but yeah. So what is going on underneath all this? I mean, what is that thing doing? Yeah. It's like, man, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to compare it to what I know, man. <laughs> I know Lily Pads. <laughs> oh my God, man. Uh, that's too much, man. That's too much, man. And uh, McMichael's kind of, he's like, kind of looks over. He's like, I wonder what, I wonder what Mal had to do with this, man. Mal, Mal, they say Mal did arrows. They say Mal did the, on Ganymede? Yeah, I don't know, man. You might be onto something. That, you got a lot of ideas, McMichaels. But uh, yeah, maybe maybe onto something. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know, I just know it. It's got to be connected with what will happen on Ganymede for sure. I, I don't I mean, do this very often, but I'm gonna agree with something McMichael said just a minute ago. <laughs> Whatever that is, Earth. And Mars is going to use it against you guys somehow, some way. And if we keep saying McMichael's is right, man, his head is going to be so big. <laughs> he won't remember it in the morning. Yeah, it's true. But yeah, I mean, I don't know what. Uh... You think anyone can really control that? I mean, we saw we saw those things. They don't look like things that anyone can control. You know, they can try. Yeah. I hope it bites him in the ass. I mean, how are you going to control that thing? It's a, like, look at the size of it, yeah? Oh. I mean, where's it going? Yeah, so. I, that's what I want to know is where it's going. And it just seems to be kind of float. It, it seems to be just in the, um, the orbit of Venus and like slowly moving. It's not, I mean, you've seen um, like Epstein drives go faster than this. Eros was going way faster than this at one point. It's going pretty slow and methodical, uh, but it seems to be uh, definitely going uh, away from the sun. <laughs> I'm gonna send a mass message to the cap too to make sure she's seeing this, even though she's not with this. Just you, to... you get a message back. Yeah, we're already on it. <laughs> like it's like she's probably already in a ready room talking about stuff, and then this happens, and it's kind of like, well, I guess that's why we're in the ready room. Uh, we were ready um so uh yeah you know it's people are kind of watching this and stuff like that too and there's some thoughts about all this stuff going down and then james holden's back involved and 
Um, that, that Koyo. That dude, yeah, that guy, whatever, man. He's got more screen time now. Yeah. And, uh, you you kind of start catching that, like, um, the all the news and all these eyes are focused on this thing coming off of Venus. Um, uh, Earth and Mars have both deployed to fleet, quote unquote, study it and to follow it, try to communicate with it, whatever it is, but whatever it is, it's, just, it's moving pretty slow. Um, I mean, if we were our own ship, I'd say we fly as far away from it as possible. <laughs> um, Jackrabbit and Wyatt, uh, both of you give me a tactics test. Tell us tactics if you have it. Full sober. Fifteen. Thirteen. Okay. Thirteen. Okay. Um, I mean, both of you guys have seen how. I mean, so the war between the two of them was pretty distracting. This is even more distracting. The the prospect of the OPA Navy for you has like their stock just went up for you. Um, if that makes sense, like like this dream that they have. It's like become. It's like more. This has made it a lot more real. Nobody's gonna be wondering what Fred Johnson and Anderson Dawes are doing with hundreds of ships around the solar system. Looks like this is the time for the OPA Navy to really, uh, really get formed up and make something of themselves. So my question, Jack Rabbit, is how long until you leave us again? Depends on when they send me somewhere else. Um, um, I'll probably like um, nudge nudge you a little bit with the elbow, uh, kind of like a kind of softened to soften the kind of thing. How you doing there? You feel you you feel sick? A pretty bad headache, but. Okay. And at this point, why you're not sure if the heck's coming from either like sobering up or if it's coming from looking at the trying to uh, understand the geometry of this thing that's emerging. Yeah, it's um, I don't know what the hell that is, but it's terrifying. I'm with Black say wherever that thing go, I hope they send us the other way. <laughs> I agree. I don't want to be far away from that. Maybe we could send a scout ship with McMichaels on, though, to, you know, get a good look at it. McMichaels is a note. Mm. <laughs> Ain't gonna That's happen. Pretty... Yeah, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what the, what our orders from our, from our uppers gonna be now. What what they're gonna be sending us to do. Because of this, this changes everything, I'm sure. It ain't gonna happen. It's gonna get real uh, interesting real quick. <laughs> And they're calling it in the media the squid. The squid. Yes. Um. So. You watch all this and everything. Um. Jack, you start getting some messages from your OPA carriers, we'll say. Mm -hmm. Um. And basically, it's long story short. It says timetables moved up. The Navu. We're gonna try to retrieve the Navu. Um, be ready for a transport, uh, basically, like, in, uh, in 36 hours. 36 hours. Yeah, That's all much. she'd say. She would read it, and you'd hear her just say, 36 hours, then I... Okay. And I just put it away, and I won't say anything about it. Um. So, uh, Danny Crystal also is a kind of foraging, foraging... Forward, you <laughs> forwarding things, not forging things. All right, so she, I guess she is forging for information. Um, I was right the whole time. So, uh, you, um, uh, kind of interesting, weird thing. Um, nothing about Pope. It seems like whatever she's doing, she's just writing little copy pieces, putting together little like displays and, and uh, screens of, of, of feed information about this thing and what they're thinking about it. But um, you start seeing this kind of timeline emerge. It looks like uh, the UN sent out like a science ship to study this thing a while back. It disassembled this, the science ship. Um, it apparently also like completely dissolved a Martian ship that attempted to do it. 
Um, the, the story of it, basically it's emerging, the narrative is emerging uh, that Crystal and many other journalists are putting together is that regarding the UN and the Martians that they've sent things near this and they didn't come back in any shape. They also know what Eros was capable of and that didn't go well trying to mess with that. So whatever this thing is, looks like everyone's just going to watch. Back and watch. That's the thing. Hmm. Um, and there is a um, UNN or UN and a MCR uh, mutual decree that any interference with the quote unquote squid will result in immediate, basically, uh, military action. Hmm. So, like, if some belter was, I don't know, decided to go try to land a ship and try to mine it, they would probably not get too close to it. <laughs> hey, <laughs> like, hey, you know, there's some deltas gonna do that. Yeah, that's kind of the thing. It's <laughs> like, you know, uh, you you appreciate you appreciate the the rationale and the reasoning for doing this. Um, and and Jackrabbit, you're pretty sure too. The OPA Navy would be on board with direct action against this if anyone that tries to land something on it or tries to like probe it or mine it. Um, so there, there's there's a lot more tension with that. Mm -hmm. Um. I would share all that with everyone, just like, there's no reason not to. Uh, why you get another incoming message uh, directed to the Sinclair, not anyone on the crew, but the Sinclair. I'll, uh, I'll open it up. It pulls up and it's a, it's a video message from Yakiv. And he's kind of, he's kind of wild eyed there. And he goes, hey man, he's like, uh, look, I was watching what's go I saw what's going on. And uh, I was watching it with the boss man and, and the boss and going kind of crazy, like, Look, I, I don't know what you guys are doing. You're busy or whatever's going on, but like, I, I don't, I don't trust this guy. I, I, a good, a good idea what he's trying to do, but like, I, I need, I need like a backup plan, guys. I, I was wondering if you could, like, I, I don't know if this clears up for this kind of work or not, but like, uh, if, if I give you any kind of details, can I have you guys on like kind of a retainer to, to come get you? Uh, look, and, 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 he, and he's like, it's not real. He's like, not in real time. It's a recorded message. Because it's like bounce around a bunch of things. It looks like he's trying to mask. He's like, but um, yeah, just uh, let me know. Leave a message at this at this like coordinate, this little number thing, and I'll I'll get it. But uh, this this boss Pope, he, he a, little, a little crazy. Oh, uh, so the, the the security guy say he's he does this once in a while, but. I don't want to be on a ship alone with this guy, you know, or a ship uh, on, a, on a ship guy. Like, but, but look, man, so you guys, I know you guys do search and rescue. You've done it before. You did it from good at it. I got out alive. Uh, let me know if you're up for the job. I gotta go. And he clicks off thing. Yeah. Did you guys see that? Or I made it to where you could all see yeah, that. Yeah, you can put it on the screen, yeah. Uh, yeah, as soon as he started talking about Pope, I threw it to the yeah. screen. How close yeah. is he? He didn't say know. where he was. And say, so, yeah. And he bounced. Is, is there any way to, is there any way to trace those or look at it or uh, try you to can figure try. it out? You can, can try, try with a, te a technology advanced test. Okay. What am I? Can I, I, I? Can I? Is there a way to insist that? In you, any it's, way? A, it's a complex check, so you guys each make your own checks, and then it oh, okay. adds to difficulty. Uh, this will be your first check for day one of trying to trace this. I would like to. To Go for do it. Do that as well. What's it using? Technology. technology. Intelligence and technology. And we gotta go get him. I want to go now, but we need to talk to the captain. Twelve. Well, where'd you go? The drama die. Three, and I got doubles. Not, not good enough. Yeah. Seventeen, Twelve. six in the drama. Ooh, six in the drama. Okay. Buddy. Uh, then you start, you start kind of digging, start digging through, and you can see. Like how it kind of pinged around, um, connection. Like they probably sent it like a few hours ago, honestly. Uh, mm -hmm. And it looks like t based on the time signature, he sent it probably around uh, shortly after this thing on whatever on Venus was going down. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to message the captain okay. and request like an emergency meeting with her at the earliest convenience. I know she's busy, so as soon yeah. as she 
She, yeah, she's uh, she's definitely mean. Doesn't get back to you about it. It's fine. There's and there's a lot. Uh, there's a lot of potatoes in the stew right now. <laughs> that's you. That's a saying, but it is now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is Zenny, you find anything? I I coming out empty. You got a time signature, and you're you're getting the first. You're finding where it came from on Siri Station, but you know this did not come from Siri. It's a little bit, but nothing too much. Hey, Wyatt, yeah. what did tell you? What did he tell you to send a message back? To this, these coordinates, this number. Uh, yeah, and you can you can find that number real quick. It looks like it goes to kind of a, a what would amount to a burner on a uh, station, um, like. Basically here on series, where it would go to, and then it would bounce. You're guessing it would bounce off that to someplace else. Maybe you tell him uh, we need to know where he is so we can get closer. I agree. There's no captain here, so I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take the lead on this. So, whatever happens, this one's on me, not you guys. I never get used to this captain thing. You know, whenever I on the ship, we just do what we say we're gonna do. This is kind of weird that you're waiting on Myrtle for, for what we and know see, what to do. You see, McMichael's take a drag off his, his uh, joint and says, <laughs> "Aye, aye, ensign." <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got we gotta go get your keys, no matter what, though. Yeah, he he is no, part no, of he, our responsibility. Cool, yeah, like, he's a smart he's a smart guy. I like him. Yeah, we gotta go send get a him. message back to you, Keith, then, okay. and see if he'll send me coordinates to where he is so we can get closer just in case but not be encrypted maybe yeah 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 do whatever i can to make it less sure suspicious so you ask him where he is and where to pick him up at um yeah um, so basically based on what uh zenny kind of gathered about this thing and the timestamp is that this message a longer time because it's bouncing around satellites and signals around uh this so like even with light delay, it's only like 40 minute, maybe light delay to hit any place in the system. Uh, but with the way this is bouncing around, it's going between like long distances repeatedly until it ends up. So you're talking a few hours. Was, was the video on a ship or was, yeah, it, was looked like a, a it looked like a station? It looked like your station or a ship. It was some sort of quarters. Like it looked like a place where you might sleep. Couldn't tell if it was either a, um, a habitat pod or if it was like his own personal room or whatever it was i mean it's kind of hard to tell you but you watch it again actually got like a desk here or some place to sit and kind of work but like it's not can't tell if it's on a station or a ship but he did talk about being on a ship earlier and it's close to it's got to be like within like what eight to twelve hours of luna uh, it's unclear where, I mean, hell, it could, yeah, I mean, they, they left Luna. Because that's where we done. saw the last message, right? It was on a... Yeah, his original message came from when he was leaving Earth on the ship and everything. Uh, but this would be, like, I mean, it would be longer than that, like, out. Oh, and then, yeah, you're not sure where, but uh, it looks like something lined up weird with his timing. And you're not, you actually have no idea where he is. But, yeah, he wouldn't be, they might be, uh within Mars's orbit, but maybe past that. Maybe they haven't hit the belt yet, but it's unclear where they're going. Or there's also the issue too of if they're even staying in the elliptical, going up or down. So, I mean, for ship, they, could, they don't need to be where you go if you want to hide. Dangerous. Yeah, I just say, that coin also smart, huh? Like, hey, come help me, but don't tell me where, where I am. Was he like that when you saw him? Well, he's got, he's got a lot of, um, a lot of loan smarts, but I think that's as far as the smarts go, honestly. Yeah, maybe he real scared too, I think. You don't think he was, you don't think they were going to Venus, do you? I would say with where the kind of guy Pope is, there's, I would almost bet it. Yeah, but yeah, and then a lot of people going towards Venus then, yeah? Yeah. How far away is Venus from where we are? I mean, it's after Earth. <laughs> so it's uh, <laughs> many, it's, many, we're many, in the many, belt. Many, it's yeah, many days. it's a. It's not a. It is not a. It's not a day trip. It's not a thirty-six hour kind of a kind of a roundabout. Oh God, no. Yeah. Do you have a lot of connections going on right now, Jack Rabbit, with people 
that maybe you could put in some good words to get us to head that way, just in case, you know, once we find out a location or some way to find this guy, anything you can do to help us get that way? I mean, the OPA Navy does have uh, connections. Yeah, whatever. What connections do I have? I mean, you know, you know, this organization you have, your commanding officers, um, there's teams also, there's like a research and development, like some, like that specialize in orbital mechanics and stuff like that too. There's a lot of specialty teams. The thing is the teams are still being developed, not like solidified mm-hmm. yet. Um, it isn't like you can just dial them up and have some coordination. Uh, for mm-hmm. those, if you're interested in a, in a very, if you want to like, you want to burn there and make sure, make sure everyone survives, you guys could be there in 37.1 hours. Now, if you're not concerned with everyone living, <laughs> I mean, I, Nick Michaels, I'm, just <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You could be there in 98 hours if you want to guarantee everyone living. If you want to not guarantee, be 37 hours to get there. And if you really want to like push your luck and like have everyone die 28 hours, you can you get the ship there. I don't know about you get. Mm-hmm. It's gonna take a while. Yeah, it'll take a long way. Um, but you know, powering up the ship and just running it out there into space ain't gonna be not gonna get mm-hmm. big. Space is very big. Uh, you don't want to go into space and not know where you're going. <laughs> You know, they, they, even the Mormons understood that if they're gonna, when they were trying to do that, they were gonna, you know, throw their own food. <laughs> so, so, they kind of had a, they had a grasp on what they were attempting. To do that. I'll give them that. Um, this was in kind of chaos. Um, Jackrabbit, you know that like whatever the Naboo thing is that you signed up for, that's the big dream. That's gonna be put mm-hmm. OPA on the map yeah. and make sure everyone has some respect for developers across the way. Yeah, I would probably like, um, I imagine it's like the things are just keep playing and now they're like repeating, right? There's yeah, exactly, like nothing yeah. new, but the news is just sort of well, cycling in. And, the live feed uh, thing's boring as hell to watch after a while. I mean, unless you're high, it's kind of cool. It's kind of like a very large <laughs> lava lamp. It's like the, yeah, the galaxy's biggest lava lamp, but it's pretty, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty, it's pretty boring to watch a giant squid go through the blackness. <laughs> Yeah, so I'd probably just like be sitting down next to next to Wyatt, uh, and I'd say, if you ever find wherever this is, you know what he's everything so far away, and I and I I just got a message. I gotta go to the Navu in thirty six hours. I really wanted to chase Pope with you, man. It would have felt good. It's not like me to just go wherever I'm told, but it seemed like that's that's the way this thing's going. You're gonna be okay. Uh, it's definitely not the same without you, but I think Elvin should be okay. Well, you find him. You you let me know, okay? If I anywhere near, I see what I can do. I can do that. I won't I put like- any bullets in him. Meanwhile, I, I, I like what Zenny, Zenny idea here about whatever we can find out. I, I'll keep asking around. I keep in more contact, too, than the last time. Yeah, I do that. Be safe out there. Yeah, be safe out there. I've got kind of about another Dave Jackrabbit on the station here. Um, Hurdle's telling you that, like, basically gives you, in, her, in their manner, tells you that things are a lot more complicated than they really are, um, than they were initially. I uh, can't really make it out of the uh, the ready room for a while. Um, what, uh, stations kind of hop in, uh, people are starting to calm down a little bit here and there, uh, uh, I was kind of watching it. Um, it isn't like like when arrows happen, people are watching this thing scream towards Earth and they're looking at this thing's trajectory. Um, it's not accelerating. It's at a very steady rate. It seems to be going in a, almost a straight line, ignoring the elliptical um, based on the the velocity of it um, and the direction. They have it like a pin to go uh, straight out of the system. 
Um, and it looks like based on its its current trajectory, it will go through the orbit of different planets, but it will never, it won't collide with the, any of the planets unless it changes uh, its speed or whatever it is. Um, there are some people talking about being able to like see it from, you know, see it in space and everything when it gets within so much distance to um, Earth or Mars. Um, and, uh, you know, the UN and the Martians are kind of agreeing upon like keeping like, you know, a few thousand kilometers it in any, any ships. There's like a no fly zone. Uh, type thing around it um, and you're hearing a lot of belters agree with that like it seems like the majority of belters are agree with that um, you're guessing more than likely the OPA Navy would be willing to enforce that as well that is and would prefer to be the top belts from going there um, this might be kind of a way to prove for the innards that you guys are willing to police your own well for the safety of everyone because uh, simply put the number one fear that keeps on popping up is, is you know, like there's like literally a headline that says Eros 2 question mark. Um, you know, is, is, is the, you know, is the sequel going to be bigger and louder than the first? I mean, there's like, there's some sensationalized shit like that. Very apocalyptic uh, coming out into the news. All we can do is wait, yeah. Yeah, and that's kind of the issue. All you can do is wait. Wait and watch. Um, wait and watch. As the galaxy walk. <laughs> um. Background, you got you got a one more day on Sirius Station before you deploy on what amounts to a very large mission. Um, you, you, and the mission. Here's the thing about the missions, kind of like kind of put in perspective for you. I mean, the last time you slingshot raced, you were in basically a coffin, a metal coffin, flying through space. Eeks. And you've seen the specs on the ship you're going to serve on. This is nothing. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, I feel like you're going to like every time you took the slingshot, you felt like you weren't maybe weren't going to come back that time. But this one, you're like, you're going to have a crew. You're going to have a good ship. You got the backing of people. You have other ships with you. You're not going to be out there alone. You're going to be there with like all like like a mass of belters, a lot of them backing you up. Um, do you have any kind of like uh, things you want to do on the station or things you want to say or check in on or? Yeah, I mean, so I really do like, do I know anyone who can have like a like a space where we can release the gravity? Like I'm really see like uh, I've you been would have thinking to go, about What you would have to do is uh, you can't release gravity because it's spin gravity. You'd have to stop the station. Yeah. What you can do is uh, get like a shuttle and have mm -hmm. it kind of sit outside the station and have low gravity up. and they have like those they have like um you know uh zero gravity uh like recreational things for pe for you know enters that come up it's, it's a totally touristy bullshit thing to do mm -hmm. um but you can you can certainly uh, i want to do that i okay. want to do the touristy bullshit thing okay. i, I want to find the like one of those uh things i would i would probably just tell uh Wyatt, like, uh, hey man, I gotta, um, you busy later? I, 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 I've been thinking about, uh, what it means to be an OPA, and you know how you always help me learn how to do all the kinds of fighting things? Yeah. I, I wanna, I wanna show you a little bit about better things. Uh, you, you around later? And you too, you too, Zenny and, uh, Waxa, if you around, it could be, could be a nice, uh, nice thing to do before we all, uh, Maybe go out and die somewhere, you know. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Let's do it. Um. And Waxer, you, you've worked in the zero, in low gravity environments no problem quite a few times. Zanny, you've only been in like you've been in low gravity for most of your life, but you haven't done you only done zero gravity a few times. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of. Probably the most zero g was like when we went out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, you guys go ahead and. Uh, part of this little ship i mean it's a little it, it's called like the the zero experience or something like that they call it zx <laughs> uh, and it's like and you can like they have like t-shirts and shit for sale it's like i got i got, I got zexed what it says. <laughs> <laughs> like, and it's like green with like a big old black like z it looks this kind of font but it's anyway um well, we all get one we all get one yeah you guys come up and the guy's like oh, okay it's like oh uh as long as you don't get a lot of a lot of locals coming up to try to, to try to get zexed, and then every time he says zex, he goes like get zexed. But um, if you're look, if you guys grew up in the '90s, you know what I'm talking about. All right. 
um, and he's like, okay, man, so, uh, so you want the package? You want the whole package? Yeah, right? Yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, everybody. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Whole package. All right, cool. We got, we got to go. Okay, cool. Uh, why don't you go on in, strap into the gravity couches. I got your, I got your credits, no problem. You're all good. You want to strap into the couches? We'll come on out. Uh, we'll give you the uh, the next experience. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. You're gonna love this, Wyatt. Yeah. All right. You guys go strap into the gravity couches. I mean, this this ship is a piece of shit. It's a shuttle. <laughs> it, it's it's an old uh, it's an old torch uh, model. So like it, ha- it doesn't have an Epstein on it or something. Like that. It's just like uh, tea kettles and has like. Um, a small torch drive on like it, it could get a little bit distance a little bit not too much long uh, and it just tea kettles out and you guys can still see the station uh it's still within like you know uh scopes and everything it's not that far out you're maybe like um maybe like you know maybe 100 kilometers out from the station or something like that um any series rotating spinning and you can you know in the there's like nothing on the distance and you're supposed to be in sort of a belt of asteroids but there's nothing around you as far as you can tell and um you know, the guy goes, all right, we're going to let go of the uh, thrusters, and uh, you're good to go. Enjoy the activity. Uh, feel, and, like, the guy's kind of going over, and there's, like, a screen playing with, like, this animation of, like, this their their mascot called the, the Zexter. And the Zexter is, like, a, he looks kind of like a jester, but he's, like, green and black, and he kind of, she's extreme, because <laughs> everyone's extreme. And yes. I've, I've, I've thought this out well too well, apparently. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and so... And then it was like, he's like, hey, you got like, hey, guys, and like, you guys can mute the, the, the Zexter at any moment if you want. Uh, yeah, instantly. Instantly. He's, like, yeah. he's like, be sure to. That seems like five and hands. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Reaching for it. Oh, yeah. man. So, uh, you got to get the full experience, yeah? yeah. <laughs> most of the time, I mean, most of the things they tell you you can't do, you can still do, though. So just don't Ooh. let it, just don't let anyone know. The room has like foam like it has like really nice padding very colorful padding like you've seen the padding inside the, your own ships everything you guys have the Sinclair's pad like this um with the bulkhead so you don't get you know crush it but this one's like made to be kind of fun and like there's like fun like foamy noodles coming up the walls and like one has like a like a uh, it looks like a like a kind of like a, a, a plastic bubble but like inside it's full of like like it's like a basically it's a plastic bubble ball pit but it's zero g <laughs> The balls nice are all contained time. within the bubble, so you can go into the bubble and play in the ball pit. That way, the balls the balls don't come out. I oh, mean, yeah. there's like it's just like it's kid shit. This is like kid shit, and there's like different kind of like I don't say toys, but like different foam shapes you throw around and move around. Like one's like a moon rock, and there's like one of Siri Station, and there's like they have hanging. Like, they don't have hanging, but like now floating. You can see little like um, flush versions of uh, the the uh, the good ship Zext, as they call it. Uh, they're kind of floating around. So I mean, it's a whole itchy, and it's it's a total like touristy bullshit thing. But it's there, and you guys are in one hundred percent zero gravity. And I would I would pit. say, oh, go ahead. I call the ball pit. I think the ball pit call you, man. Uh, unhook, <laughs> uh, and uh, and so I would I would like unhook myself. Do you know? I would kind of push off, like kind of move into wherever uh, why it why it was. And while you've had some zero-g training back in the Navy, but like, you know, it was more of like how to move through a hallway rapidly, how to help somebody. It was very practical, not so much like, let's go have a flip or, you know, or bit, jump into bubble, the, the ball bubble. The ball. I mean, Wax is just going to be doing tricks and feeling supernatural in this like environment and just... Uh, yeah, Zenny's kind of doing the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's oh. kind of... I probably like, like this, calling around Wax here, yeah. Yeah, you see this? Oh, this is crazy. I have to, can't wait to tell McMichael's he's going to laugh. It's like, yeah. <laughs> and, and I would just point at, at point at them as they're like spinning around and I say, uh, you know, the thing about you in is, is that gravity, man, it make you only see the world one way upright. You know, belt of life, every way is which way, sideways, upside down, it no matter. Whenever you join OPA, what you got to start doing is you got to start remembering you're no longer defined by gravity. You know what I'm saying? I think I understand what you're saying, yeah. You give it a spin. Let's see. Let's see you do it. And I'll do mine. Well, spinning. <laughs> He's looking a little green. <laughs> um, you, 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 yeah, well, he found the little green man in space. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. Green Martian. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's, it's, um, I mean, you kind of flip around and everything like that, too. Uh, did you want to go into the ball bubble? Oh, yes, definitely. 
Fall Bubble, as you go to enter it, 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 it feels actually oddly familiar as you enter in its passage. It kind of reminds you of your time in the Navy. Um, and mostly it's because of the aroma coming from inside the ball bubble. <laughs> kind of a combination of old sweat, uh, dirty socks type thing. Probably a little bit of uh, pee. A little pee. <laughs> well, people, yeah. yeah well, the, the pee tends to stay in the clothes when you put them in. Pants section. All that kind of stuff. It smells like it. <laughs> it does, yeah. But it's, yeah. You're not sure if it's, if it's actually there or just you reminiscing. <laughs> but yeah, you get this thing and like the balls are kind of all hitting you from all over and it's kind of a weird sensation feeling them like kind of collide with you. Um, you can try to stay still. You can try to stir the balls up. What do you want to do in there? Oh, I'm going to go nuts. I'm going to try to spin them like a crazy maniac. <laughs> you start spinning in it and like the balls are spinning. You guys can kind of see this like blender of it. And it's like watching a big kid. Uh, you, you guys, you know, you probably saw this. Then you probably saw some kid party in here growing up on series or whatever it is. And... <laughs> You see the, the going berserk in the ball bubble, and it, it, it's interesting to watch. I mean, it's kind of fun. Why seems to be having a good time with it. Definitely like a kid right now. Uh, I'll make my way over to, to Jackrabbit, kind of push it, push off, um, and uh, say, uh, this, this was a good idea. This was a good idea, I think. I just feel like the world get too heavy sometimes, you know. Uh, what about you? You being okay? Heading out this way? What about your brother? I, I don't... I, 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 I think he'll... I think he's smart enough to not do something like chase after a giant jellyfish or something like that. Uh, I think... Just kind of looks over to Wyatt spinning around like a Tasmanian devil in this ball pit and Wax are doing just like flips or whatever. I think they need me first, honestly. I mean, my, my family, they made their own choices and, and I want to try to keep him from making any worse choices, but I mean, he is who he is. And it'll be up to him to decide. I could I could go chase him down right now if I wanted to try. But I could get all the way there and he could just be... He could just tell me to, to just go fly home. You know? So... Yeah. Maybe I'll help the go people. to those... Oh, go ahead. Maybe I'll help the people who... Can actually do something right now. You know? You know what my idea was when I brought him up here? I was gonna basically like throw heavy things at him, you know, like metal things and be like, you know, wh whatever you do, you float it in the space. We just, just see if you can get out of the way. This is much better with these ball things. He looked like he having a good time. I don't know if I've ever seen him smile like that. Yeah, I don't think I ever have. Yeah, oh, he never. I've never seen him smile. He <laughs> <laughs> says he's like, he's like, he's like upside. He's like, yeah, oh, yeah he's just a little like lack of days. At least he's You have to go, hi. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll poke my head out of the ball and be like, who's turn now? Oh, yeah, that me. Right, uh, I'll, I'll like kind of help pull Wyatt out and I say, uh, hey, Wyatt, you ever play the OG tag? Nope. I might. Good. You're, you're it. I'll just, I'll smack him on the chest and I'll push off <laughs> and go. So it's like spinning. <laughs> yeah. One of, yeah. The, one of the goals of zero G tag is really fascinating here is to isolate the, uh, the person in the space. So they have nothing to push off of. Yeah. Remember, it can't do anything. Um, but with the other different foam things kind of moving around the room, one thing you notice, you always have propellant. You always, like, if you grab one of those, like, pillows and then push against it and actually push yourself off of it um, if you need to. So it's kind of a kind of an interesting space. You can tell that, like, if you were playing this in the halls of, like, a ship, it'd be a very different game. But if you're playing it in uh, this space, you kind of keep the game going. It's like the, it's like the training wheel version of it. Mm -hmm. Well, this brings back memories for sure. <laughs> Um, all right, you, you guys start playing this, t this tag game and so that everyone get uh, those of you uh, that are playing three of you uh, give me a dexterity free fall test. 
Oh yeah. So Jack, Jack, are you are you gonna play with them? Or are you gonna go and do? Heck yeah, I'm okay, playing. So you come out, you come out the thing and. Fourteen. Sixteen. Also fourteen. Seventeen with six on the drama. Okay, so I got six on the drama from Jack. Right, what did you get, uh, Waxer? Uh, six, I got um. What did I say? Oh yeah, I got uh, sixteen with five, uh, three on the drama. Sorry. Three on the drama. Yeah. Uh, Benny? Uh, the the same number as uh, Scott, and I don't... Oh, what would you get, Scott? I got Benny? a 14, and I got a yeah. 5 on the drama. 5 on the drama, okay. Also got the same same number 2 on the drama. Cool. Um, so you guys managed to make a wax red, <laughs> and um, uh, the old, the old, uh, the old Pompa is doing pretty decent at this and such. Um, and uh, you go for another round of waxer. Give me a everybody. Give me the free fall test. Right. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right. What do you get, waxer? Uh, Seventeen with six on the drama. I got the same thing. Oh boy. Woo! What'd you get? Seven. I got seventeen also. With three <laughs> oh, on the geez. drama. And three doubles. Oh, what'd you get, Danny? I only got thirteen. But I did get a six on the drama. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You guys start playing Jackrabbit's It. And um, when you when you go to tag Jackrabbit Waxer, um, a willpower self-discipline test. Okay. All right. So, oh, shoot. Just dropped a die. Ah! The suspense! <laughs> the suspense! Okay. Better get uh, one of those dice trays that Sandy got. I know, all right? Okay, and okay. Available so now sorry. from Stonehaven Miniature. <laughs> Willpower, okay. Three, okay, so that's uh, 11, 13. 13, okay. Um, as you, you 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 go to tag Jackrabbit, you get kind of a flash of like a... Uh, you remember a face, you remember a person. Uh, I don't remember someone telling you once about... Uh, playing uh, 0G tag with their kid. Okay. I sort of like free see uh, waxers. Yeah. You know, like I freeze for a second, like uh, I'm someplace else. Yeah. <laughs> and, and yeah. I'm just sort of there. <laughs> yeah. You kind of remember like like someone like, like for you, you, you can't really see their face, but you can like remember uh, playing 0G tag with your kid. But then like you're like, well, this other guy told me about playing it with his kid. It happened exactly like. Yeah, I just have a. You see, wax. I just have yeah. a really weird moment and kind sort of, of like almost get somber for like I almost forget what I'm doing and just sort of yeah, frozen in that state for a second and then sort of slip out of it. Oh, oh what? What? What's going? Who? I? Who's it? Yeah. You are. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm tired of playing this. Uh, let's take a break. Yeah. Like I got. Uh, it's a weird moment, I, I suppose. And then I uh, just pull out a flask from my pocket <laughs> and just kick it like into the center yeah. of the room. I mean, you're one of the, you're one of those people that pregame before you go into the nickel arcade. That's a good way to do it. <laughs> That's the best way to do the nickel arcade. <laughs> so yeah, so you, uh, so yeah. Okay. So you guys, you know, whoever wants to take a sip, take a sip of some, uh, free rough stuff there. Oh yeah. Eventually the, the, the cap, the quote unquote cap in the ship. Goes, All right. So well, thank you for getting Zex today. Uh, we're going to be heading back to Sirius station. Uh, strap once I see her strapped into their uh, crash couches, we'll go back to the station. Uh, we hope you come back to uh, next again. Uh, your t shirts, and uh, if you paid for let's say everyone here did pay for the uh, the pictures, we will sure to have our AI assemble use for your memories and the like. Uh, if you oh, you guys paid for the pull package, it'll be a small hologram, small hologram of your zero G experience, a little small animation. Uh, but we will uh, be back, uh, boarding back here in five minutes uh, uh thrust again. Drop in. I better give my shit to McMichaels or he's, we're never going to hear the end of this, so. <laughs> just letting you all know. He's just jealous that he missed it. Yeah, we got to bring him back something, man. Uh, I live with the guy. Fine. <laughs> um, you, guys, you, guys, you, guys, you guys go back to the station and you, and you get the t-shirt. And you, you know, it's got the logo on it. It says, I got sexed. Um, and then you get like a little, like small, little, like it's a really cheap hologram display. 
I've set up and like you can copy it over to something else if you want to, but it shows like it's like an, it's like a still frame of you like having fun uh, doing different poses or, or the, the, the kind of animation of you in zero G. <laughs> Uh, it's it's really cheesy. I mean, it looks it's it's a it's a tchotchke. You know? it, Does it just get that frozen moment of me um, weirding out like it, where I? <laughs> no, it actually it, it tries to, it, the the AI tries to like it reads your expression to find the point where you're having the most fun. Okay, good. And so good. yeah, it was when you're, it was earlier in the day uh, when you were kind of like just talking to him, everything kind of you going around circles like this talking. Um, but you guys all get your little your little like tchotchke thing, and it it's like the most touristy bullshit. It's like going to the it's like going to the Eiffel Tower and coming home with like Eiffel Tower salt and pepper shake. But it's, it's like, also like now my new bag. favorite object. It's my new favorite object, right? Yeah, you, like yeah, you're, you're, I probably would like be around going like you got sexed, like in the way that would get annoying <laughs> afterwards. Like yeah, we got sex. Yeah, yeah, you're, you got sex. Yeah. yeah, you're. It's gonna be one of those things where your your EXO on the ship you're gonna serve on is gonna be like you know. I, you're like, hey, hey, XO, what shirt? Are you, guess what shirt I'm wearing today? And they're gonna be like, oh, here I. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, you, it, it's kind of cool. You actually feel like you could maybe like even mount it to the dashboard of a ship or something. Be kind of fun to keep on, you know. Um, or put in your bunk or whatever it is. Something kind of put on the ceiling. Have you kind of on zero G? It's a good bonding experience for you all. Uh, it's kind of fun to get out there and, and kind of feel feel that all a little bit. Um, like. Um, you guys go out, have a good meal, have a few drinks. Don't drink too heavily. Uh, go back to the loudspeaker. I'm guessing uh, the whole the rest of the crew is there. McMichael's and people are kind of chilling out. People are and like the the loudspeaker is normally a sports bar. This place is now just showing nothing but squid, squid TV, um, all day, all night. Uh, and like people are talking about it still and everything like that too. And uh, the guys at Zex are like, hey, thanks for coming over, man. I you know it's been pretty pretty boring dead day with the the news of the day, but thanks for coming out. It's cool to see. Well, hey, I gotta tell you, I've never had that many belters on board before. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying, I just it, people off stage. All right, well, cool. Uh, thanks, and you guys go out and hang out and every evening. Um, they get up and let you. Uh, evening kind of is going out, and people have their meal and the moment there. Uh, or kind of like you know just hey like uh you know like michael's like hey all right i guess we're gonna have a going away party for uh yuri yeah yeah for yuri um uh, i think that's gonna happen but i want to like you know so i thought it'd be kind of cool if the said some words man like you know i'll i'll put you on the spot i don't know if you're a toaster but i i heard in it's like a toast the big michael's like you toast it up man I can sure give it a try. Like, all right, man. He's like, all right, I'll. And then Michael's kind of laughs. He's like, he's like, yeah, but I, I hear you got to stand to do it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let me think of something good here. Uh, it's gonna be short and to the point. To the best crew in the galaxy. Hey, all right, yeah, yeah. Hey. That's like, all I got. I'm and then sorry. Michael's kind of he kind of taps Yuri. He says, "Yeah, now that you'll now that you'll leave." Ah! And like, <laughs> he's kind of you know he's like, "No, no, man, he's all drinks." And Yuri's like, "No, it's cool, man." He's like, I, trust, "I get it." Hey, to the best chef. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh man, he's like, "Yeah, no, I thought I got I got some geek lined up. I might, I might start uh, freelance chefing around the place a little bit here. I, I like to get my own car. That'd be kind of fun. The food down there's pretty good. Do you uh, ever need anything like a recommendation, something?" Well, I know Stamella so. hooked us up, man. I technically, I've been working for Stamella for a few months now, sure. so. Oh, oh, man. No wonder the cap's in trouble. <laughs> I, I, he's like, uh, yeah, yeah, everyone kind of sighs, and uh, and they were kind of like, like, Michael's like, yeah, I don't, I don't think, uh, I don't think anything I'm going to do is ever going to get her in more trouble than she. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like I'm, no, I ain't messing with that. I was like, oh, he's like, what's up, man? He's like, yeah, it's good. But he's like, like, goes with a jackrabbit. He's like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm sorry, I could to help out your cause. Nah. Not for everyone, you know? Not for everyone. But tonight for everyone. Uh, raise okay, up the glass yeah, again. Yeah, yeah, good. And drinks like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, everyone Get feels next. pretty good. Oh, what's wrong? <laughs> wrong cheers. <laughs> um, and, and then like one of them's like, you went to the sex? <laughs> 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 you got sex without me, man? What's wrong? 
Oh, oh, yeah, I, I got you a we... shirt. I got you a shirt. I throw. I, I like toss him. I also throw also... my shirt at him. I'm like, <laughs> I don't want yeah, this. Man. Oh, you guys have given him nothing to talk about now. Okay. Wearing mine right now. Oh, yeah, I was wearing it. Um, so yeah, you, uh, you guys have a good night. Take a deep jackrabbit. You get. Uh, you kind of find. Do you, how do you want to leave? Do you want to like? Do you want to just kind of? Yeah, do, I like, actually. The... What I imagine is like as things are ramping up she actually just slips away like she doesn't want to do the big goodbye kind of deal um but uh you know but the one difference this time is uh are we anywhere near the ship i mean the sinclair yeah you can get to it pretty easy i mean you just have to go catch like yeah a... so i would probably like slip away i'd hop back in like to the to the ship yeah. um and i would just leave like um wyatt like uh, a kind of note and I'll say, uh, I'm not gonna be no stranger this time. Uh, this is my number, and just kind of leave that there. Oh. Uh, yep. And then, and then scoot. Bounce out and go catch your catch your transport off to uh, back to the station to get set up and geared up for the the big the big operation. Uh, the rest of you guys have your night hang out. Uh, news is still kind of coming on. Some people are uh, watching the news. like your parties is kind of keeping it together and. You guys look at the news once in a while, but nothing's happening. It's like it, it is the most boring story in the world to watch. You can fathom. Um, it's like watching like fungus grow down. In, I mean, how going to watch the fungus grow on the pipes down down beneath the station would probably be much more interesting. Than be more. Hey, Onyx would have liked that. <laughs> yeah, so there, but people are just kind of checking it out and watching it, and you can see the the MCR and, and the UN are kind of coming up with their different like perspectives of it, but. All of you kind of sit there like, let them talk. And everyone feel like, I mean, Michael's like, let them talk, man. Let them talk all they want, man. The time they're talking, they're not looking at us. They're not waiting for what we're going to do, right? We're going to do something. We're going to rise up. We're going to be somebody, man. They're like, yeah, yeah. And they're kind of getting into it. Uh, yeah, you guys all kind of drink it out and everything. And Nick Michael, and you guys are kind of chilling out. And Nick Michael takes a sip and he goes, uh, he looks over to you, why? And he goes, hey, so, um, they ain't going to let you in with that, man. What? It points to your arm. He points to your tattoo on your arm. Donager forever. He's yeah. all like, man, they, they ain't gonna let you flash some MCR colors in that Navy, man. You gotta get that covered up. Yeah, maybe we should do that soon. Hey, man, I know, I know some, I know some good programmers here on, on station, man. They get, they get that tattoo knocked off for you, no problem. They regrow that skin real easy. Let's go. All right, man. Let's go. We'll go. All right. Yo, Waxa, Zenny, uh, AJ, uh, Yuri, man, Drax, even, man. You guys want to come on out? We'll get we, uh, Big Papa XO tattoo. Yeah, I got to see this. All yeah. right, man. And everyone just starts just throwing ideas at you, and it feels they're all like, hey, hey, get it, man. Uh, <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll let you, we'll let you, we'll let you over our week break because we're going to be on break next week uh, figure out what you're actually going to get tattooed this time as opposed to being coerced by Martians oh I know exactly <laughs> <what I'm getting. laughs> um, alright so we're going to end on that one with uh, Wyatt getting tattooed and nice. Jack Rabbit slipping out uh, into the darkness oh. and everyone uh, thank you for watching yeah. the Precipice uh, we're setting up on a new dawn here we have a big historical event unfolding uh, and the like everyone um the giveaway is still open if you haven't entered now is the time it is for a hundred dollar uh, certificate to alder and tower my Ooh. little shop uh you can get Zex. fine oh. shirts <laughs> Zex. i'm waiting for it and, I'm yeah, I'm, mcmichael's ain't gonna drop that shit dude <laughs> like he's, it's gonna be his cash phrase got six yeah. And then you guys are like, you never, you didn't even go. He's like, I got the shirt to prove it, though. You gotta make that a shirt. You gotta make that a shirt, John. You gotta make it. Sh- get Zex. I'll let you get. Yeah. You want to design it, man? I'll do it. Um, <laughs> those of you watch, I really appreciate it. We always appreciate you. Uh, last moment to do the giveaway. We got a few entries. Very nice. Um, for everyone, uh, we were off next week. We'll be back in two episode. Uh, please like the show. Uh, you can subscribe and everything on here, but you can also uh, go on to our Patreon where we try to put up some bonus stuff, uh, get pre guests uh, planned out for June already. Um, we're uh, previewing stuff like that too. Our other thing too it's complete is if you're a new viewer and you want to check out our podcast or take it on the road with you or listen to the car or whatever you do yeah. in the dead of night, uh, you can uh, check out our podcast over at uh, uh, com. 
Um, I have my truncated version I use for everything and uh, the like, but I'm going to go ahead. Is there anything I'm missing? I feel like I'm... Oh, I missed Sam! Sam! Oh. Yes. I feel like you were... We're, yeah, we're going to miss Sam because really? yeah. Sam's not going to be here. It's super fun, y'all. I hope to be, I hope to be back and, uh, you know, do, get into some You're trouble. You're going to make your, your re-entry super dramatic. Yeah, That's what I'm hoping. That's what I'm hoping. <laughs> like, like, uh, like, I, like Han Solo at the end of New Hope. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so... Yeah. Um, that'll be that'll be fun. Yeah, we'll, we'll there it is. Yeah, like that. No, 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 not the, yeah, we're not gonna cry or freeze you. That would be. A, I mean, we do have Pope. I guess he could. He could. Freeze yeah. You. Oh man. Oh, that would be. Oh, imagine. Oh and my so, god. Those things. That'd be so and, funny. And sell you. To, <laughs> sell, yeah. Sell you to some sort of crime lord. Um. But, uh, um. But everyone, thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Let me go and pull a winner real quick here. Pull it, and our winner of our hundred dollar Cauldron Tower gift. My is one. What did I see here? Oh, uh, uh, Dina Palooza. Dina Palooza. Uh, uh, nice. You got, we got a lot of the regulars tonight. I'm glad, uh, glad one of them got it. That's very cool. Yeah. Um, I will contact you with information on how to redeem that gift for the year. Uh, but uh, thank you everyone for watching. We'll be back in two weeks. Uh, check us out on, um, well, wherever we are on Twitter and everything too. And, uh, yeah. Later. Bye. Bye. Bye.